we are doing exercise 2 in which we are observing the body so in the first step we try to observe the two distinct realities the self and the body that is to say the consciousness and the material and we could make out that i am able to see myself through the activities of the self and i can see the body through the sensation that i receive from the body and i and body are two distinct entities i am not the body this is something that we try to make out in the first step in step 2 we looked at the exchange that is taking place between me and the body and we could see that it is only exchange of information there is no material exchange here i am giving instructions to the body and i am receiving information from the body in the form of sensation which i am able to read from time to time as per my decision now in step 3 we try to observe very particularly that it is me who decides to send the instruction to the body and also read the sensation from the body isn't it so my decision involved there this is something that we try to observe in step 3 in step 4 we try to look at the sensation and try to make out that i am at a distance from the sensation i am not the sensation i am not in the sensation the sensation is not there in me i am at a distance from the sensation and by looking at the sensation we also try to make out that i am at a distance from the body so this is what we are doing in exercise 2 at step 4 now at step 5 we are looking at the various sources of sensation so primarily there are two sources one the activities within the body and two the activities outside the body now when you look at the activities outside the body it is again in two parts one is the behavior of the other human being and the second thing is the rest of the physiochemical changes taking place outside the body in the nature so thus there are three sources of sensation and i read this sensation as per my decision so this is what we had been observing yesterday so we'll do one thing we'll observe the three sources of sensation okay so the effect of the behavior of the other first reaches the body maybe it is sound of words or some touch and due to that there are sensations in the body the second source is the situation outside of physiochemical change maybe a heat or cold and that has an effect on the body due to that also there are sensations in the body and then there are events happening outside within the body maybe the pain in the head or some rapid heartbeat or rapid heartbeat and again there are sensations in the body due to that so you'll see that none of these effects reach the self directly they are having effect on the body in the form of sensation and then i decide to read these sensations or not to read these sensations so i read and taste only those sensations that i consider important i read and taste them as and when i consider them necessary So this is something that we have been observing. So now when you explore into the behavior of the other human being, which is expressed through speaking, gesturing, so you'll see that there is some physical action, like speaking, for example. And then it has an effect on my body. The sound reaches my ears. And then there is sensation in the body. Now I read the sensation. And then the next thing is that I associate meaning to the sensation in conjunction with my sanskar, which may be based on knowing or just on assuming. Now, this is a very important part. You'll see that a lot of our imagination is occupied by what is happening due to the behavior of the other. And we are not able to observe very clearly this particular uh, ingredients of this particular incident somebody said something the words fell in my ears 
then from the years it reached me because i decided to read that sensation and i did not get influenced merely by reading that sensation i associated some meaning to the sensation okay i assume or i gave a meaning that this person is humiliating me and then i got affected if i assume the other person to be a mad person having no sense let's say then i do not associate that particular meaning to that word so the way i associate meaning to any word okay that influences me this is something that we have to observe okay now this meaning that i am associating may be based on knowing or just on assuming now what is happening inside me that is something to be observed try to look into the incidences that took place yesterday and try to see how you associated meaning to a particular word whether you got elated because of somebody's words or you got uh, hurt because of somebody's words now just try to see that whether you got elated or got hurt was it just by itself or there was a role that you played you know before you got hurt or elated so like what was your role there the words fell in your ears and you got happy okay was it just spontaneous like that or you associated some meaning to the gesture to the word and thus you got happy similarly when you got depressed you got uh, unhappy with the behavior of the other was it just by yourself or again there was some meaning that you associated with the word with the gesture and thus it happened so try to observe this this is a very important part we can a lot sometime in particular for this particular thing because uh, it does matter in our day to day life okay while uh, interacting with human beings behavior is a very important component and we'll see that many times we carry uh, memories of such incidences for a long time the words were spoken for a few seconds then i gave some meaning to those words and that meaning continues in me okay and that may also mend or that may also uh, somewhat change my life that may also change my future course of action that may change my whole behavior my way of thinking so just try to look into this how you associate meaning to the words that fall in your ears to the gesture that you are able to see through your eyes observe it for some time yeah the specific question is whether you are able to see this particular sequence that you do not get influenced by the behavior of the other straight away there is some association of meaning to the behavior of the other and here what is happening so there is some expression by the other either in the form of words or gestures and it reaches your body and then it has an effect on the body which causes sensation in the body and then read that sensation you taste that sensation and then you associate some meaning to the sensation and the meaning that you associate is there in conjunction with your sanskar and your sanskar may be based on knowing or even not knowing and then only you get influenced or you do not get influenced so this is something that we are trying to observe ji chandrakala ji actually when we are uh, observing the behavior of the others uh, we are giving the meaning uh, sometime not only on the basis of the words with their body language also uh for example uh when we are doing the class when we are, uh, when we are delivering the lecture we are observe the students uh whether they are listening they are uh, understanding or not how they are interacting with the session and all uh sometime some of the students they are listening uh, by looking at their facial expression 
we can understand that yes the students are listening uh, and understanding even though they are not expressive in the words uh, we feel it and uh, sometimes some of the students they are seeing outside window like that while looking at their uh, body language we understood that the candidate or students not interested in the uh, class what i am saying uh, like uh, even though he is not speak with me by that time i understood that he is not involved in the session just by observing their body language means that is the sensation i observe with uh, eyes uh, this is how i give the meaning uh, yeah the student is not interested in this uh, uh, content like that and uh, sometimes some of the people they are coming to invite uh, for their uh, function marriage party or something else uh, by that time we are giving the meaning like that they are uh, uh, coming to invite us uh, uh, by taking a risk uh, they are traveling far away and uh, how affectionately they are calling uh, they are inviting so their uh, affection and the words they spoke while inviting and uh, everything will be account just uh, like means not the words we will see that uh, they risk and the effort also so means i i want to share here um, means sometime the uh, not only the words and the action also include uh, while giving the meaning for that uh, behavior and one more thing here i want to share uh, sometime while we are giving the meaning not only with the just the meaning of the word Uh, the tone also like uh, how they are uh, saying with the modulation of the voice and all we understood that uh, the what the intention is there with that words uh, this the observation i i nice. i thought hey, that sir ji nice nice didi yeah so we are associating some meaning to whatever yeah, sentence we are receiving mm-hmm. i'll share a typical example here during my btech days we had a class of philosophy mm-hmm. and in that uh, basically the faculty was uh, teaching us logic and mm-hmm. in our batch we had one student from chennai so mm-hmm. she explained the whole thing to the mm-hmm. class and we all shook our heads in the vertical direction saying yes we are able to follow and mm-hmm. he shook his head uh, sideways okay the faculty was from north so she found mm-hmm. that she saw that uh, this person not able to follow while he was a very bright student of the class mm-hmm. so the faculty explained the whole thing again <clears throat> okay he shook mm-hmm. his head again sideways the same way mm-hmm. and then she got it irritated because he was a bright student and then she asked him why are you not able to follow so he said that i am able to follow you know mm-hmm. so then she made out that his expression was different mm-hmm. from us so what is happening here so there is a sensation that reaches me okay mm-hmm. and i associate some meaning to the sensation if somebody mm-hmm. is shaking his head vertically okay mm-hmm. in the vertical direction then he is saying that yes but if somebody is shaking his head sideways then he is saying no isn't it and that association of the meaning to this particular sensation mm-hmm. okay is based on my own sanskar the way i have been observing people around so in a similar manner we can observe for the words the words that we listen mm. isn't mm. it now with the words yes. we may have some assumption like if somebody is using angry words on me then he wants to make me unhappy he wants to humiliate me he wants to show me down now if that is mm. the sanskar that i carry within then i will feel hurt mm. i will feel angry okay i i may feel angry mm. because i am doubting the intention mm-hmm. of the other mm-hmm. but if i am able to see that this person has sound intention but he himself mm-hmm. is in an angry mm-hmm. mood not comfortable with himself mm-hmm. and he wants to reduce his discomfort and for that only he is using this kind of language on me he also might carry some mm-hmm. assumption about me he might be differentiating mm-hmm. he might not be able to see me similar to himself and that's how he is trying to uh, 
uh, use these words but essentially mm -hmm. this person's intention is sound it is only the lack of competence then my whole way mm -hmm. of thinking my imagination will be different mm -hmm. isn't it mm -hmm. so try to observe this this is a very important issue the way we get affected by the behavior of the other isn't it and try to see how we associate meaning to the sensation this could be either from the behavior of the other this could either be for the physiochemical change outside the body or even something happening inside the body every time you read the sensation by your own decision so here again a decision making is involved the sensation is there in the body so the words are falling on your ears okay they are, that is happening by itself from the ears it is reaching your brain that is also happening by itself right but you are reading that sensation there is something where your decision making is involved and with that after reading the sensation you are trying to make a meaning you are trying to associate a meaning to the sensation if somebody is speaking a language that you don't know okay so you are not able to associate the right meaning to the words because the words are unfamiliar to you but if the words are familiar they are also depending on our sanskar we may associate different kinds of meaning okay if i have the right understanding i will associate one kind of meaning if i do not have right understanding i will associate another kind of meaning ji and uh, a good thing that you shared no so earlier it could be the case that you could carry that unhappiness within you and might also carry some grudges for the other person who blamed yes. you but now yes. that you are working to transform yourself you could uh, make or make that program so that you could go and have a dialogue with the other person yes and yes, explain sir. the things thank you all for joining the session so the assignment for today is to observe this part 1 of the slide that was there in front of us so observe how you associate meaning to the words how you observe meaning to the behavior of the other so this is the assignment for today and today is sunday also so you will get enough time for this observation